You guys will either love this reaction or you will hate this reaction. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Blank Check here. I just finished recording the last 8 summertime shorts for EQG and I wanted to put together a small video. As luck would have it, Agro recently released a small animation called It's Hard to Be a Princess. It looks like a Celestia video, maybe Celestia and Luna, but it is hard to be a princess, singular. Were this for Galorga's channel, it would likely be about Starlight and be... raunchier. But Starlight would have no troubles being a princess, she was born to rule. So I guess we have to see the failings of the white one. On top of that, I still have not seen every Agrol channel video, so I will throw in Must Be Better, which appears to be a Trixie animation. That sounds like fun. But before that, let's be witness to the troubles of the sun goddess. Alright, agrol.tumblr.com. These are always so fun. Canterlot! The city of Sunbutt. Who with her magical horn brings light upon the denizens and marks them off the list as they perish to old age, which she is not afflicted with, for she is immortal and she will outlive all of these ponies, children's, 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 children. Unless she's overthrown by some up and comer magic unicorn who may or may not be purple, and name rhymes with bar fight. Celestia is such a card. Her guards despise her, but they get paid well. And they can't quit, because you only quit by going out into the wilderness and fighting the beast until you perish. Celestia is not satisfied by the squishiness of her pillow, she wants a new pillow that has a cover of Countess Coloratura on it. Celestia is the best artist in all of the land, as her decree. Some pictures may be more realistic. Some ponies may have skills to make things, you know, look nice, but she makes them regal. Celestia is showing us her inner desires that's kind of a Freudian slip for Alicorns, is you just behead your sister. It's, it's just kind of, it's a really frequent occurrence. Commander Snowdrop here is sad that Celestia made his daughter blind as punishment for him not following her plans in the battles against the Timberwolves five years prior. The paparazzi follow Celestia all over the place, which is weird because there is a 100% fatality rate for being a paparazzi in Canterlot. You think they would learn? When Celestia's really bored, she duplicates herself and gets whatever she wants from her subjects, her doppelgangers. Celestia is looking at a bird in the corner who made a nest, and she knows the bird. The bird's name is Janet. And she's not really friends with Janet, and she's like, God, why is Janet over there? But she doesn't want to disrespect the people she's talking to. She likes them. Celestia likes toying with the lives of her ponies. Sometimes she just shortens the day. They don't notice because they don't have clocks, but they kind of have internal clocks that get thrown off. And she likes just messing with people a little bit every day until they go insane because that's the only way she can sleep at night is by causing enough chaos and bloodshed. Where am I? All right. Agrol.tumblr.com Juke- oh, radio. I thought jukebox first. But that's definitely not it. Play the Wasteland Whalers, I like them. Flowers. Trixie was a young child when she was born. She played with other ponies, and they learned to respect her. And that respect turned to fear, because she would eat their lunches. 
and drink their milkshakes. Birds, in particular, did not fear Trixie, for they could fly away from her magic, which has a limited range. It's very powerful, but only in short bursts. It's like a shotgun. Trixie never learned the read. It's kind of... <laughs> okay. Trixie fought an addiction to cookies as a child. Um, she was very obese. It was not great. She had her stomach pumped frequently. I do like she, that she burns spiders, though. I, Trixie is now my favorite pony because she destroys those little hairy creatures. Fluttershy would not destroy them. She would take them in as friends and pets, and Fluttershy is worst pony. Unlike Trixie, who is cold-blooded. You never knew that. So it's hard to get through the winter, especially in Southern Equestria. Northern Equestria is where they're at. Southern Equestria is pretty cool because it's at the equator and it's always hot. I know geography. Trixie's cape is eternal. She's only ever had one, but she's had a lot of socks. She goes through socks almost weekly. They just get so much use that she can't no one makes socks strong enough. How do you satiate Trixie's need for socks? I don't know. I don't weave things. Trixie invented flowers when she was a child. Celestia was very impressed, actually, but Celestia wiped everyone's minds to make them think that flowers were always in existence and Celestia invented them. It was actually Trixie. Trixie's teddy bear is her partner in crime. They've held up several banks across the nation. Trixie is an insomniac. She worked on Ratchet and Clank and Resistance. She got in there after Spyro was finished, so she didn't work on those. Those aren't under her belt, but, you know, they, she made Song of the Deep. It wasn't received too well. Hopefully they'll pick it back up. The, the reboot for Ratchet and Clank was pretty good. <laughs> Flowers are pretty. Trixie likes flowers. She's gonna pick them and give them to Starlight in a bouquet. And they're gonna kiss. And my fanfic will be complete. And now all of Ponyville will know the beauty that Trixie can actually emanate from her body and her magic and her socks. I'm so sorry. All right, ladies and gentlemen, those were It's Hard to Be a Princess and Must Be Better by Agrol Channel. Trixie learned to better herself with magic, and Celestia made it through a day of work. It's exhausting, there is a lot of smiling, she does not want to talk with the nobles, but it's worth it in the end. Kind of like how this reaction was the insane ramblings of a crazy pony behind a microphone. You have to suffer through it, take an entire college psychology course to understand the person. But in the end, you have a unique experience that you would not find anywhere else. As is the definition of the word unique. Agrol makes very fun animations with very cute and show-like characters. He is very reliable, very consistent, and deserves the following that he has. May he continue making animations for a very long time. I, on the other hand, make dumb things. But hopefully you learned something about Celestia and Trixie today. And I would hope there is a fanfic out there that ships the two of them. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, remember. If you can't handle being a princess, you simply must be better.